Welcome back, guys, to Horizon Zero Dawn, where last episode we took on two more side quests in Meridian. First, delivering a snap more lens and a long leg lens to a bickering pair of smiths in demand and supply before heading outside of the city for fatal inheritance. We're in a state having been raided by machines that we learned was actually our requester's plot to get a hold of the place early. Finding a survivor there, Davadi, and a luring device hidden away, Radaman arrived to finish the job, stupidly holding a lure as a glint hawk swooped in to kill the murderous idiot. We now continue our wilds exploration. All right, corrupted zone next. You you always reminded both people of the white that run down a bit down the ledge. You mean the uh, handhold white slash yellowing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to obviously signify handholds that are used. <laughs> it's very lonely up there <laughs> for the flower. <laughs> yeah, sure. But yeah, I get you with the uh, other poopy. Bird poop has an incredibly caustic effect. No grass grows underneath my bird feeders. I say mine. Becca's buttons have been doing a for ages now. No grass can grow. For the birds, make sure of that. Don't know why they have to poop and eat at the same time, but you know, that's just birds for you. Oh, wait, is it corrupted glint hawks? Well, that's troublesome. I can still get the upper hand. Before I hit that shot, but obviously not. Maybe I should watch out for the guy on the ground, though. Felt that. It's not like no HP here. Stupid floor corruption points. Go on, a little bit further. Oh. Doesn't seem like I can explode their bits. Oh, well, I definitely can if I hit him dead on like that. There we go, got the explosion. Oh, he actually landed on it. I wasn't expecting that. I actually hit a glint hawk with a ground trap. <laughs> Unexpected, but it happened. Well, there goes my three bars of health again. Farewell to you. That's not pandemonium. That's me pulling all the enemies into my... Killing field, it's fine. It's all calculated. Honest. Stocking up. Perfectly calculated. Right, there's another corrupted zone done. So we still got a lot to explore down there, but I think it's trial time. Let's get 
Let's get our 15 blazing suns. Go get some cool weaponry. Go do the finish off like the hunting lodge quest line. We've actually nearly mapped out like a lot of the. Pl I'm actually curious. <laughs> hey, how much have I got done today? Not much, actually. About 7%. <laughs> Barely anything. But there must be a lot of main quests awaiting for me in the near future. So we're looking for the the blue mark. It's over here. I'll whoop here, then. Yeah, see, I'm just pulling the enemies towards me. Plus, they were only little boys. I can spank them a little bit, and they'll go down. So their extra health being corrupted meant that I couldn't critical hit finish them. That's for certain. There we go. I'm going to go directly below me, behind. Uh, uh, no, it's this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's avoid deaf chickens. Actually, that's my destination, isn't it? Or, yes, it is. Oh, it's a quest! <sighs> Found another one! I don't know what actually fully counts as, progr as uh, progression. That's why I've been trying to hit lots of, like, map things like camps along the way. Maybe machine sites count? I can't say personally for certain. I'm getting there, exploring bit by bit. He's got a nice mustache. Oh, he has it. Aren't you a little out of your way, Nora? Your sacred lands don't extend this far. I go where I like. What do you do here? I'm the keeper of these hunting grounds, which means, of course, that I'm the local representative of the Hunter's Lodge. To be more specific, I oversee the leverage trials here. Not that a vagabond Nora has any chance at passing them. You might be surprised. I doubt it. He's like, I already have 12 blazing suns. <laughs> so how did you wind up here? I didn't wind up here. It's an honor. I don't expect you to get it, but I'm well regarded at the Hunter's Lodge back in Meridian. So much so that they sent you out here to pitch your tent in the wilds? <laughs> Are you going to take part in a trial or stand here prattling at me? Tell me about the trials. These hunting grounds offer the leverage trials. They focus on gaining an edge by leveraging machines against each other. You might, for instance, take a weapon from one machine and use it on another. It's hard, but the firepower is often worth the risk. Yeah, I kind of like of that. Let me know which trial you're interested in. Which one first? Ravager versus machines. Ravager control and Thunder Jaw versus Ravager. Let's go Ravager versus machines. For this trial, you must use the cannon on a Ravager's back to take down other machines. You can shoot the cannon off or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Ravager and make it fight for you. Oh, and here's a special tip. Try using tear blast arrows on Ravager cannons. They'll knock them off in one hit. You mean my favorite arrow type? And so, it's time to begin. So do I control one? Or not? Okay, looking at the potential targets here. We got chickens. The only Ravager that exists... Oh, there's a Ravager over here as well. I didn't get it. It's still on there. Go say, does it count if I kill the Ravager? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna get away. Uh. 
Life's good. Put down the weapon! Put it down! Put it down! Hey, uh, that was scarier than it should have been. <laughs> Crafting! Transfer potions, health potions, thank you. Full health potions, I can only craft one. Oh, great. I guess I didn't get many potions from my, uh, people's uh, defeated. <laughs> shh, Mr. T-Rex, shh. I, I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. That's a nice body language. <laughs> I know who you are, girl. The Nora who can control machines. So I've got a trial just for you. Isn't that shifting the goalposts? Use your spear to take control of two Ravagers. Get them to help you take down a Thunderjaw. A fine choice. Best of luck. That sounds easy. Shoot, the reality of this is where's the next nearest Ravager? Oh, well, I was overriding him for about two seconds. This has not gone very well. I think, in fact, it might be best to start again. And I got one nicely. The problem is that I just got caught by a scout as I went round the corner. Which obviously was not intended. That kind of screwed that massively. The issue is, is that they're both so far away from one another. I do wonder if I can actually override the ra ravages... They're just fighting each other now. I will start again. Don't you want to complete your trial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving up on that one, are you? I'll do it. I know who you use your. Very well. I just got knocked away by the blowing up of the face a bit. Realize the time I could go. Yeah, that's two ravages. And now I just need to grab a gun. Uh, hello, hello. Grab 
Charge it, buddies. How about you tank? How much time do I have left? A minute? More than enough. Ow, Ravages me, me now. Ow, Ravages, Reggie, Reggie. I thought we were friends. Don't kill me. Wow. Oh, he still after me. By me, I'm just going on my own special walk around the outside edge. I mean, I got the job done. Left you. I never thought I'd see this day. A Nora won a blazing sun. I mean, I won one two seconds ago, but whatever. For this trial, you must use the Thunderjaws cannon to destroy Ravagers. You can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Thunderjaw and make it fight for you. Oh, and you may want to use Tear Blast arrows on the Thunderjaws cannon. One hit will knock it right off. Can I ever ride a Thunderjaw? All right, let's see what you can do. I guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> Answer either is no, or I I alerted him a little bit too early. Easy, early. So, okay, smash. Uh, double smash. Oh, my plan B isn't working very well. I'm still alive. Ah! My God, your reach is insane. Ah! Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I could override them. I thought I got that when I did the, uh, Zeta, so I guess I just got a bit too close. A bit too fast. I can't rush at them the same way. At least that actually restores my health for doing that and my potion supply. That's actually really good. No good. He sees you really easily. Oh, yeah, I'm in trouble. I may as well die again here, just to get my help, like, not use my help. Come on. The best bit is when I want it to shoot me, it's not gonna. The issue is literally just getting in there at stealth.
If I can just get in there at that distance, I'll be fine. But you should said and done. I'm pretty sure I can override them. Though. Yeah, override is unlocked. I'm just not... I just don't know how to stealth up on a, upon a T-Rex. I find that statement probably unsurprising. overriding and it just stood on me. That's just unfortunate. <laughs> Try again. Right, these are acceptable deaths, by the way. I'm kind of like, it's just easier for me to just die and go again. I had him. This time I've got him in the butt. Oh shoot, so if I hit him... I definitely can't... I definitely lose that option. Okay, cool. I thought he'd stay... got no matter what. At least for a little bit. There's one, I guess. I realize I've now only got three shots, by the way. If I want to try doing it now with the launcher that I've got. What I could do is I can dodge here. Okay, I ran out of time, actually. I'd have to pick this up and drop him, like, so instantly, it's unreal. Look at his HP! Look at his HP! Look at his HP! Do they fire their disc launchers at these guys at range? Well, they definitely... The reason I tried to knock off the disc launcher was on the basis that uh, I didn't know if it was going to definitely fire the disc launcher at the enemies we want to kill. Do you know what I mean? Start. Look, 
that is firing that kind of stuff. Okay, I actually did kill that one. Get rid of that laser. Please stop crushing this guy and kill this guy. Also, please don't crush him. Shoot, shoot him with your gun. Shoot him with your gun. See, yeah, this is why I think the trial's gonna fail. He's not gonna shoot him with the gun, though. Oh my god. Like legit, how bad are you at this? So this only works if it's at range. And throughout all the time stays at range. So this is why I wasn't just trying to override it. And I was like, oh, I overrid it. Now I'm going to knock off the blooming thing. Because I knew that the source of the kill would not end up being the source of the kill I needed. It worked for the first one because it was far away. So it might be that I'd have to override and then stay fighting the Sawtooth way up high on the mountainside. So it fired at them. But now I've lost my health, too. An impressive effort on the first try. You've earned a full sun. You've earned a lot of suns, Nora. There are awards available for hunters like you. Speak to Idaba at the lodge in Meridian. For this trial, you must... You can, oh, and you so we're going for this still. We can't leave it. A fine choice. Came here to finish the job. We've gone through a lot of teething issues. Says kill ravages with a thunder jaw disc launcher is the actual goal of this mission. So right now I'm gonna clear I'm gonna clear out. And hope that the thunder jaw loses me, but that doesn't seem to be the case now. Where did that weapon go? Tell me I didn't even knock one off. Oh, it is. It's all the way back here. That's one, but as you can see, I'm missing a fair bit. So I would need to do this. Do it like that. That's the only thing I could trust on doing it. So that's why I overrid it, then tried to knock off a weapon, hoping it would stay on my side so it would have one weapon and one thingy. <laughs> that was basically what I was aiming for the entire time. Because it's just... I can't just override it and hope it will shoot them with, with the thing I want them to shoot it with. Me. I couldn't trust in that. But I can trust in what I just did. That run has earned you a blazing sun, Nora. Winning all those suns gives you access to elite gear at the Lodge in Meridian. 
Find Idaba there, and she'll help outfit you. Job done. I have to go. As you like. I even got a skill points for it because I reached level 43. Actually, I got two skill points because I must have got one for defeating all the things. So that's not too bad. All right, heavy spear will knock down enemies faster. Fine by me. Okay, we're basically out of health again, which is never good. But I got the job done. All blazing sun. So that last one was actually the hardest one. But it was just figuring out the exact order of things that I wanted to hit. So you can't. Ow. I've got even less health now. So I can't quite trust in the enemies to do what I want them to maybe do. I need some fish skin, don't I? Let's go on the ground here. Yeah. I'll take it. Crap convoy. Find help. Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindhawks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh. <laughs> That's not helpful. Just stay out of the way for now. Rings around these watches a little bit. Pass the test. Do 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 do. Don't mind me, little guys. You stay searching up there, it'll be fine. After your convoy, the thing you were actually going to with and guarding has been destroyed, but don't mind me. What a weird day. We gotta go to Pitchcliff. Do we not? Pitchcliff was this way, right? It is indeed. I guess I will oh, no I won't actually. I was gonna warp straight away, but then I realized there's actually a camp and a place here that I've never been to. Which might in itself be a quest. These guys are going to have a second chance of seeing me. I actually think they just disappeared. Oh, no. There they are. <laughs> like I'm taunting them now. So I've never gone up here before. I've missed this entirely, supposedly. Better go there first. There we go. So this is... You can tell me where it is. Unflinching watch. Hello, everyone. Any quests? No? Good to know. That is all I cared about. So I have basically no health restoratives right now. So everything's looking good.
He says, 